So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeffman 316, and it's weekly movie hunt time. It looks like the uh, pickings are slim this what week. What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on Not here? slim pickings. The pickings are slim. Either way, one of you guys always says that in the comments, but I'm not expecting to pick up much today. There's some new releases, but I'm not really interested in them. But I'm going to show you what's out there. Then we're going to come back, and I'll let you know whether I did pick something up. If I did, we'll show you at home, and we'll also look online to see if there's anything that we want to order that we should have found in stores but didn't. So uh, what are we waiting for? Let's get into the hunt. Let's go. This week's movie hunt is sponsored by an episode of what? Hoarders. Look at this car right here I found in the parking lot. I had to show you guys that. That's ridiculous. But yeah, let's get into Walmart. So it's a light week this week. What are you guys picking up this week? Anything? Let me know in the comments down below. So let's get in here and see what we find. Let's go. So at least they got some stuff on the front rack. You got your Secrets of Dumbledore DVD. Got it on Blu-ray for $24.96. That's some nice cover art. I will tell you already, I'm not buying that. Then they got the 4K for $29.96. We got really nice cover art for these things. And then Walmart has got a special edition. And like a, what looks like a box. It's really light compared to what I thought. It's a limited edition collector's case is what it's called. Okay, I mean, they're stretching it here trying to get uh, some extra bucks for these things. But there's Firestarter on DVD for $17.96. Let me just say the cover artwork for that is better than the movie. That movie is hot garbage. Mothering Sunday, I think that's new this week. $14.96. No slip, and that's the only thing on this front rack. So I'm over here on the side. You still got cyst. But look at this. This looks kind of cool. I think I read about this. I think I this might be a pickup of nothing else. And it's $12.96. And then there's sick cyst. And I think all that was from last week. The Devil's Tail, yeah, I think we saw that before for $9.96. That's a nice slip cover on there, though. It's told you it's a light wheat. So, might be time to go back and pick up some older titles if you hadn't picked up anything. So, I'm going to just scan real quick. You guys let me know. Is it anything we might have missed this week or last week? I don't think so. The Cellar, check out my review on the channel of that. It was, I wouldn't say hot garbage, but it's close. It's very disappointing. Hey, we need to know, we need to do something. Hey, we were talking about that slip cover on the live stream. That looks, the slip cover looks terrible on that on DVD. The Blu ray blows it out of the water. So we'll look over here at the $5 bin. That Tim Conway, I did buy that in the past. You guys should pick that up. But look, some new Nicolas Cage, some Shutter Color of, Out of Space. That is a really good movie. So I recommend that for sure out of the $5 bin. And I don't think people have found that in the Dollar Tree. What else they got in here? Anything? Hey, Liam Neeson, The Commuter. That's pretty good. And American Assassin is good. So at least they got some Blu-rays popping up in here. Uh, Hellboy. I don't think that's as bad as everybody makes it out to be. And look, got a Charlie Brown DVD in here. Wasn't expecting to see that. That's kind of random. Nut job. Is that the story of my life? Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's a pretty good movie. Hey, look at that. A Steven Seagal pack. That'll definitely be at the Dollar Tree. And then Halloween. If you didn't check out our live stream when we discussed Halloween, check it out. Let's look over here on the side. 
they had this Nick Cage display that came up after I was in here last week for the massive talent release. So you got that Walmart exclusive. And one of you guys was asking, it still does not list on the package the size of the shirt. So I'm going to guess it's just a standard large. So that's pretty, pretty pathetic if you ask me. But look at these. They added these uh, other releases of DVD of him on the side of just big uh, zoom in shots of his face. They're so plain, they look terrible. Most of these have been in the $5 bin. Check out my Nick Cage $5 bin thing. But uh, yeah, these are the ones I remember seeing online. Look at that. That Joe has got to have the worst beard. It almost looks photoshopped. And look, he's got his porn stash right there. So let's get over to Target next. Um, awesome day. Going to do walk at the park farther away. So let's get into here. Uh, at least they put out something already. $29.99 for the 4K in here. Walmart seems to always be $2 cheaper. There's a Target exclusive for $29.99 of the Blu-ray only. That's silly. Why don't they do exclusives of the 4K? Got a cool book in there, I guess, is their reasoning. And then the Blu-ray is $27.99, the standard edition of it. So they got the three film collection, and then they got the DVD for 22 So they're always more expensive than Walmart. And then there's that massive talent down there, that exclusive cover. Let's check out over on the side. Hey, they got the Fast and Furious 9 movie collection for 54 That's a pretty good deal, actually. Anything over here? Just check and see if they got any deals for you guys. Cruella, nah. Look at that Matrix for the first three for 13 I guess they're like everybody else. They're pretending like the last one doesn't exist. Nope, not really seeing anything else. And then in the main section, got Godzilla and Kong. So all these were $12.99 on 4K during that Father's Day sale. But now they got the DVDs for that price. So if you didn't get them, I guess you can... Um, Pick those up. Old No Time to Die is good. I hope you guys got the 4K of that. Mini Saints in Newark. Check out my review on the channel. Not so good. I had high expectations for that and was punched in the gut with it. It was terrible. What is that? I saw Walmart sticker on that Justice League promo. What in the hell? Would Walmart have so many they're shipping them over to, to Target? Top Guns on sale for 10 bucks. That's good for the Blu-ray. Well, at least the No Time to Die is only 19 but I got the steel book of that. I think I unboxed it on the channel. So check that out. There's also another drop of Dollar Tree movies coming up. I'm going to go around to some stores and see if they're starting to put any out. Hey, that's only 15 this week. I never got that. So maybe that's a pickup. But either way, I think the next store we're heading into is Best Buy. I guess I'm to pick up in Barnes and Noble down there. I'll show it to you guys later. I feel like I'm going to go in here for the first time and not buy anything in like months. So what do you guys think? Is that going to happen? Put in the comments down below while you're watching. Am I going to buy anything today or not? Well, if the first rack is any indication, I won't be, because look at this, nothing. That's false advertising, there's no new releases. So we'll go back here to the back rack. I'm gonna just do a high level scan here, see if we see anything new. Firestarters, $24.99 for the Blu-ray. They should like give that away. The cover artwork isn't even that great, it's just a rip off of the original. Don't watch that movie. If you want to see Firestarter, even though the original isn't the greatest Stephen King movie, just watch that instead. You think on a week it doesn't have any any big releases other than the one. And wait a minute, we didn't even see that on the front rack. But there's True Romance 4K. That's a nice cover. So it's like every release, whether it be the Blu-ray the or the 4K or the Steelbook, 
has a different uh, front cover. So that's kind of cool. That's a very underrated movie. I don't think a lot of people know enough about that. Dag, I don't know if I'm getting anything here or not. I guess maybe what I said is true. There's a few things on sale. Anything over here in the... This is usually where the 4K start. There's the Marvel stuff. Almost Famous. I never bought that on 4K. Did anybody get it? Is it worth the upgrade? I didn't really find a review. I got the Mad Max anthology set. I never bought that. There's your Star Wars movies in 4K. 20 bucks. I got a feeling for Black Friday they'll um they'll have those a lot cheaper what'd you guys think of obi-wan i think i'm going to do a little mini rant video i just finished that on the heels of stranger things but here's the dumbledore stuff down here so they got a steel book will i pick up the steel book or will i not the world will never know yeah you will at the end of the video you'll know whether i get it or not there's the 4k they don't have the prices because they're not even on the shelf as far as on the new release rack how pathetic is that and then there's the blu-ray up close it's got a really nice like i said cover art i like that and then it looks like the blu-ray is the only place you can get some special features on this damn thing but there's your three so i think that's about it let's flip around over to the other side and see what they got Anything on sale? The Quiet Place 1 and 2 for 21 That's a pretty good deal. I feel like you might better get that cheaper, though. And Equalizer 2 is really good. I would hold out on that as well. Probably going to better get that cheaper for Black Friday. Still got Hellboy. What is this? Rain's World? 1 and 2. That's not a bad price there. Those are good movies. Was there a steel book of that? Because if it was, I never saw it. But... At least it's got a few special features on there. So that's $16.99. That's worth the pickup. And then, hey, look, they still got this in store. That is a really good deal if you guys don't own that. The H2O Curse and Resurrection on Blu-ray for $13.99 plus digital. Maybe I'll pick that up and do some kind of giveaway later. So what's going on? We're back home. I want to show you the couple pickups and uh, it's a good week. Didn't have to really spend any money, but uh picked this up at Barnes and Noble. I'd already done the Arrow, you know, visit there and this came out um, after and it wasn't in the store, but I got the 4K of um, True Romance. Um, this is a great movie. I don't know if you guys know uh, Quentin Tarantino wrote this, but um, the good thing about it is this is the Steelbook edition. So this is the 4K Steelbook tons of special features i'm going to unbox this on the channel so look out for that but it was 50 percent off and i think it still is not sure if best buy i mean i'm sorry if uh, amazon is matching this but i don't think they you would be able to get the steel book i'm not sure it's pretty limited so i was surprised that my local store got the steel book they only had one so i did an in-store pickup and that's why i didn't record anything but the only other title that i picked up was something that looked kind of cool at walmart um where the scary things are has anybody heard of this i don't think there's a blu-ray release of this um but the thing that intrigued me was it was actually rated r so it doesn't look like it's one of those paint by numbers pg-13 horror movies so uh hey i'm re i'm really looking forward to checking this out if it's really good i'll let you guys know on the channel and then the other thing i picked up was this triple pack of h2o halloween curse of michael myers and halloween resurrection as you guys know i'm doing the um, Hallow Scream series coming up in uh, July, August, September for all the Halloween movies. And I don't think I, I think I already have this. If I do have the digital, um, you're going to, somebody on this channel eventually during that review series is going to win this. It's the reason I picked it up. If I had, don't have them on digital, I'm going to redeem the digital, but somebody else will be lucky enough to get the discs because I've got this set um already for uh, with all the movies so somebody's gonna win something related to halloween um during the house scream series so i promise that so um let's check out and see what we found online 
so here we go. You got the Dumbledore, and there's your True Romance Firestarter we saw. We didn't see that Doctor Who set in stores. I'm not a huge fan of Doctor Who right now. Maybe when they reboot it, it'll be better. You got A-Team and Charmed full Blu-ray TV sets out. Got some Scooby-Doo. See, there's the True Romance. There's the regular 4K, I guess, non-limited edition. I was going to get that film noir set right there, and it keeps going out of stock on Amazon. I guess I should have pre-ordered it. Um, Harlem Nights came out this week and Boomerang. I've never been a fan of those two movies, but if I got one, I'd probably get Boomerang. There's that big sleazy set. C for me was not a bad movie. I watched that on Shudder. So if you haven't seen that and you don't have Shudder, that might be worth a pick up. There's that Mother and Sunday. We saw that on DVD in Walmart. Didn't see the Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know much about any of those. Where the scary things are. We saw that DVD in Walmart. And I'm pretty sure there is no Blu-ray of that. Uh, I don't recognize any of these titles. Charlotte. What else they got? Inspector Ike. Those, those deadly virtues. Never heard of that. There's a Doctor Who in the Dialects. That's the Peter Cushing version. It's on Steelbook. Videophobia. I remember looking at that. The cover looked cool, but I didn't like the description. Has anybody seen that? King Car. Never heard of that. Therapy. Yeah, I told you it was like not a lot coming out this week. So I'm going to scroll through these last few real quick. If we don't see anything, I'm going to go ahead and end here. And we'll so that was all of that. I wanted to uh, thank you guys. Uh, like I said, small haul, but this is a good quality movie here. And I'm going to unbox it on the channel. I'll let you know about that. And then something that you guys might win. So uh, what did you pick up? Put it in the comments down below. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Keep uh, supporting the channel. Love you guys. Keep watching my live streams that come out on Sunday night. We're doing blockbusters. Uh, specifically talking about Jaws this week. And then um, other than that, hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos or those live streams go up. So until next time, boys and girls, this is JeffMan316. Your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there.